In this video, I'm going to show you how to make name tags using Maker's Empire 3D software. Let's start with a simple name tag. Open Maker's Empire 3D on your computer or device and select the Shaper module. Select a shape for your name tag. I'm going to choose a cube. Resize a cube to fit your chosen name. We'll want to flatten the cube to make the tag, so we'll put it from the side. Now switch colour so that your name is in a different colour. Add your name using the text tool. If you tap the resize control, it changes between fixed resize and free resize mode. Resize the text so it will fit on our base using fixed resize. I try and drag the text onto the base but it doesn't sit on top, so I pull it out again and turn on the magnet. I'll then drag it back onto the top so it sticks to the surface. I still have room on my name tag, so I'll copy the text and add another line beneath the name. I can change the text on a text object at the top of the screen. I'll scale the new text up a bit. Now let's look at it from the side to check if the text is inside the base so it prints as one piece. It is, so everything's okay. The last thing we need is a ring so we can hang our name tag on stuff. Add a torus and resize it down. Notice after resizing that the torus is floating in the air. To fix this, you can look at the ring from the side, press once on the up-down movement control and it will snap down onto the platform. Now move it into place. Let's change the colour to match. And there you have it, now you've made a simple name tag. For a more advanced name tag, add a cylinder and change its colour. Press once on the resize control to switch to free resize mode and drag it in. Copy the existing text. Rotate the text using the fixed rotate control. Show the free rotate controls by pressing once on the fixed rotate control. Then rotate the text to align with our cylinder. Turn off the free rotate controls by pressing once on the fixed rotate control. And drag the text to position. We want to show it through onto the other side, so let's select the text again and move it through the cylinder to the other side. Now use the extrude control to pull it through and we can see it on both sides. Copy the other ring and put it on top of our advanced name tag using the techniques we've learned. You've now made a more advanced name tag. Now let's try making another name tag with a thinner base and prominent lettering. Start by copying the ring and base from our first tag. We 
resize our new base using the free resize control. Now copy your name text and drag it down to the new name tag. Resize with a fixed resize control. To make sure the text is connected to the base, move it down and extrude it up. We've now made three different name tag designs. Finish the design and give it a title. Now we want to get the SDL file, so press the download button and choose to get it in the app. We will receive the SDL via in app notification in a few minutes. Now let's give our design a description. We can like our design by pressing the heart button. We can comment by using the comment button. The I button sets our design to private or public. And the bottom button will delete our design. You can also adjust the price of your design with this slider, from free all the way to not for sale. Our SDL is ready. Press it and save it to your desire ready for printing. We hope you enjoyed this video. For more videos and information about Maker's Empire 3D Solution for Schools, please visit makersempire.com.